So what's the best way to solve a quadratic equation? Some people might say, just complete the square. And some other people might say, just use the quadratic formula. In this video, I want to show you guys how to come up with the quadratic formula by completing a square in a slightly different way. So check this out. We start with the standard form of a quadratic equation. And the standard way to complete the square is that we divide everybody by a first so that we can get x squared right here. But we are not going to do that here. Instead, we are going to multiply everybody by 4a. Why? First, 4 is the smallest even perfect square, so it's going to work out so well. We care about even term later on. So we're not going to use 9 or 16 or whatsoever. And then we multiply by a because a times a will give us a square, and we'll actually get the first part to be a nice something to the second power. And it's crucial. Check this out. Let's multiply everything out. We get 4a squared x squared, and then plus this times that we get 4abx, and this times that is 4ac, but let's put that to the right hand side and then leave a space here, and then this becomes negative 4ac. And of course, this times that is just 0, so it doesn't matter. Now, for this part, this is nicely equal to some parentheses square, and inside is 2ax, right? If you square that, you get this. Very nice. So the first part right here is something to the second power. And for the second part, if you look at this, we have 4. I'm going to break that down. But let me show you guys what exactly we are trying to aim for. Remember that if we have a squared, and that's exactly what's happening right here, and then if we have plus 2ab, and then plus b squared, this right here is very nice because it gives us a plus b to the second power. So we're just trying to match with this form. And you see, that's why we care about to have an even right here. So this is 4, I'm going to rewrite it as 2 times. Well, we can also put down the first part right here. So you see the A, and we have the A, capital A. Yeah, so we can actually write that down. We have the 2AX. So you see, 2 times this, we get the 4AX already. But we have the B right here. What do we do? We are missing that part, right? And that's exactly what we need to do. We will have to go ahead and add b squared so that we can produce that. And then again, let me just write this down. We plus b squared. And of course, whatever we do on the left hand side, we do the same thing to the right hand side as well. So we will just have to add b squared here as well. And ladies and gentlemen, the left hand side it's in fact in this form, so we can factor it and we get a very nice perfect square. Namely, this guy goes first. 2a, wrong color. 2ax and then plus b square, like that. And then on the right hand side, you guys all know it, I'm going to write that down first. So we have this equal to b square minus 4ac. And now, we want to isolate the x. We can just take the square roots on both sides, go ahead and do that here, and go ahead and do that here. This and that cancel, and let's just go ahead and put down the plus minus on the right hand side. And we see this is just 2ax plus b, and that's equal to, here we go, plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And now bring this to the right hand side, and also divide the 2a after that. Ladies and gentlemen, x is just equal to bring this to here, we get negative b, and then we have the plus or minus. That part, square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Aha! This is indeed the quadratic formula. So what do you guys think? Which one's better, completing a square or the quadratic formula? I will say completing a square. But sometimes, if you know what to do, you can actually make it even easier. And if you guys want to see another example on comparing the completing a square and the quadratic formula, check out that video right over there. I'll see you guys in that one. Bye!